I'm a one-man army, but I'm in everybody's clique. I choose peace, love, and harmony, but I'm a moving train. If you stand in my way, I will wreck you. Well, uh, uh, I'm the political power, and Jaruma dictates the two in this country, so don't test me. Hey guys, what's good? Are you excited today? Because I'm really, really, really excited. So welcome to my YouTube channel. If this is your first time here, I know this is most of you guys' first time here. Please don't forget to hit that red subscribe button. Join this lit family. If you're a returning subscriber, thank you for always watching my videos. Thank you for always supporting your baby girl. I really, really do appreciate. So the real housewife of lagos just finished the season one and we are all waiting for the season two and they decided not to waste any time and bring up the real housewives of abuja for us oh my goodness aren't you excited aren't you excited i'm so excited because i'm going to use this to pass a whole lot of time and from the cast that i've seen hmm, i feel it's really 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 going to be interesting going to be hot like the bus bus in this real housewife of abuja because of one particular person because of one particular person i feel there's going to be a lot of bus bus just because of that one particular person so let me introduce you guys to the cast of the real housewives of abuja hey. as an influencer i set trends and they follow okay i get paid to show up turn up where well, they get underway once in a while a girl needs to take a break i mean i love cities like monaco paris however singapore has my heart abuja is rome abuja is power if you don't know your way down the right corridor honey you will be consumed so we have princess j coco she's an influencer like she said though i haven't really been seeing her around and at the same time you could never know all the influencers we have in nigeria so for me i think she is going to be the fashionista of this uh, real housewives of abuja though we can't run into conclusions yet but from the cast i saw she's the one that is kind of most dressed or that dressed differently from the other uh, real housewives and uh, i feel she's going to be the bass boost type too we don't know if she could bring the same bass boost vibes trauma brought though i'm not like trying to uh, compare or something like i'm just talking about the fashion sense i feel she's going to be the fashionista of the house no one knows about their characters yet or their attributes but mainly looking at her she looks like someone that could give it to them hot hot i guess my name is omi tarabi i'm from Kano state i come from the i have a son he's five He's the joy of my life. I'm expecting another little pickle. But yeah, I don't know how to do that, but I'm going to freestyle it. I'm the founder of Blur Cafe and Tucker Blue Homes, and I'm also a partner at 1010 Realty. I'm the head interior designer. I love what I do, but the best part is it brings in the billions. Being an Abuja housewife is so glamorous and exclusive. Family name, travels, designers, exclusive cards, anything put together, black cards, we got it. Next we have Ometa Rabiu. Hope I pronounced that well. She looks very, very pretty. Oh my god, this woman is so so pretty to me. I'm a fan already. She looks very, very simple and she looks like a money business minded woman 100 percent I mean looking at her, even from the things she just said. She says so long as it brings her her you know what i'm saying and those are the kind of women i love so so much i'm a fan already even without the shoe and i feel she's going to play as one of the matured women in this show though that doesn't mean maybe she might not have misunderstanding with people or maybe there might not be a little buzz boost from her but i feel her maturity is going to be on the high side and uh, she has a son and a lovely husband so let's wait for the show and see what she gives to us yeah my name is aisha Falki, and i'm 38 years old I'm married to Professor B.Y. Abukar and I have two lovely kids. I am a serial entrepreneur, but I am known for Northern Hibiscus. We're the window to the north. You want. Then we have Aisha. She has two kids and she is married to a professor. She looks really, really simple too. You know, this is how um, ABJ women love dressing. Like, she's okay, she's cool. Let's see how she plays her in the show. I am a one man army, but I'm in everybody's clique. I choose peace, love, and harmony, but I'm a moving train. If you stand in my way, 
I will rest you. Then we have Zainab. Zainab said she's a one man army, but in everybody click. Like when I actually heard that at first, I was like, what does she mean? Are you thinking what I'm thinking? Actually, the first thing that came to my mind when I actually uh, watched her say that or heard her say that I felt maybe she was a two-headed person, like green snake in the green grass, like one mouth here and the other mouth there. But when I thought about it, I feel it is kind of applicable to me in the sense that when she's a one-man army, like she loves staying on her own, she minds her business, she doesn't look for trouble and all of that. That's from, from my own explanation, yeah? But then she mingles with everybody like she talks to everybody maybe not that she's maybe close or tight to them but she talks to everybody maybe people could form their own cliques like they could be like okay this is my friend this is my friend this is my friend but she's that one person that oh she laughs with everybody she doesn't want to be among any clique she is on her own but then people in those clique try to make her friends or like try to be close to her like this clique and this clique could be having issues but she's that one person each of the cliques could still come to talk to do you understand that's what I feel because same thing kind of happens to me. Like I, I know a lot of people that are in different friend groups, but I, I really have no friend group. Like I'm just on my own. I'm this is my one man army, and these different friend groups they do come to me to talk. They do just with me, come to tell me some things that they don't like. Like come to seek advice and all of that, but they could never go to each other and say that that's from this clique to this clique. So that's what I feel when she means by one man army, but in every clique. Do you get what I'm trying to say? But who knows, she might not really mean it that way. She might mean it the other way around, like maybe a two-headed person or a two-mouthed person. But let's wait for the show to start and see what she really means by that. I'm I'm I have taken a lot of gunshots and bullets and attacks because of my brand. Like, I received like death stress and stuff like that. So I was doing this secretly in 2014, you know, I was servicing the elites, the rich and the famous. And the political power and Jaruma dictates the two in this country, so don't test me. Then we have Jaruma. Jaruma, like I was so shocked when I saw her among the cast. Like she'll never start, she don't even start to give buzz buzz already. She don't start to give warning. Oh my goodness. Oh my but I feel she's the one person that is going to bring that drama we really want in the show. Like Jeremy is going to give it to them hot hot bass boost because you know everybody cannot just be calm in the show and most of the women I've been seeing so far are calm. Don't know all. I feel there are still some that have this attribute of bass boost, but most of them look calm, 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 calm. But Jeremy is that one person that you are sure, you know hundred percent that yes, this woman is going to give Wahala in this show and I'm going to watch it's because of the wahala she's going to bring for those that love watching the wahala aspect in fact almost all of us love watching the wahala aspect yeah so yeah Jarama being on this show is going to be so much for you know when i was going through comments on some social media platform that i saw some videos some of them were like why is she in the house why is Jaruma here she just uh, made me want to dislike the show hello you don't have to because she's literally the drama of the show and she's going to be the one to push that show very well obviously though most of us are mad at her because of some other things but let's leave all that aside the main thing we're in for is this show and she's going to freaking bring a hot hot you know what i'm saying my name is ogwai reve i'm 43 years old i'm married to a very wonderful quiet and private husband i have three amazing boys and i am the ceo of design clothing limited my abuja is actually really fun i know people beg to differ everyone always thinks like oh my god abuja is so quiet but the truth is like if you want to find the fun you'll find it i love it here i love it i would say my personality is a bit too much for abuja but we manage <laughs> in abuja there are people who can make you or break you in one day and that access, we got it. Then we have Ogwa. She has three baby boys and married to a very private husband, like she said. But being married to a very private husband and you're coming for a show like this, don't you think it might expose your husband since he loves privacy? I don't know, I can't say, but then let, let's keep on watching the show and see what it brings. I mean, looking at her, she knows she's this kind of person that loves classiness. She loves, like she said, she loves traveling and all of that. And she might also be a fashionista of the house too. I don't know, let us wait and see. So yeah, these are the cast of The Real Housewives 
of Abuja. Please do make sure to hit that subscribe button, turn on the notification bell, so whenever I post, you'll be the first to see. I'm going to be dropping a lot of content from this Real Housewife of Abuja henceforth. So please do make sure to stick around, make sure to like this video, and drop a comment of your favorite housewife, the one you think is going to bring more bass boost to the house. Thank you guys for watching, I really do appreciate it. And don't forget to check out my other videos, I make a whole bunch of content. Thank you for stopping by, bye.